Oh, look what just came. You know, I kind of feel bad for, you know, this, this Amazon package just came. UPS. And, you know, if I was a UPS guy and I picked this up and it was like hardly anything in it because this right here was in it. And that's what we're going to talk about here. Um, and I'm sure there's a UPS guy that's going to be possibly watching this, you know, my talking hands knife slash nerd video here in the Wolf Den. This is Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by one mo time. Well, like I said, does a UPS guy enjoy driving Hell's Half Acre with a little envelope from Amazon because Amazon didn't deliver it? I don't know. But what we're doing here is we're going back to knife nerdism. Now, I showed in a previous video putting on this black thumb stud on my Buck 110. You can see it's black. It's knurled on this side. All right. And I may, you know, this may not be a perfect video for my fishing subscribership. And I know that going in. No mysteries here. But I also do videos for long term. So I'm diving in this dang knife nerd video stuff. I'm diving in the pool with the knife nerds. So, and I'm also diving in the pool with the million vi uh, videos talking about putting a thumb stud on your buck 110, okay? I mean, I'm I'm jumping in the pool, but let's, I'm gonna, this was like a no-name brand from down in uh, South Florida. It took forever to get here to Jacksonville. I mean, it was five hours down the street on I-95, heading south to South Florida from Northeast Florida, and it took this, well, this one, five days to get here. I could have drove there in five hours and five hours back and then probably done something cool while I was down there, like visiting a big, giant bass pro shops or some cool bait shops down there. But that really twerped my twizzle right there is that this took five days to get off of eBay. So what do we got now? Well, we got the Buck 110 uh, Elite Pro here, I believe it's called. Um, nickel Polished Nickel Bolsters G10 S30V with the Boss Heat Treatment. All right. Well, guess what we got here? This is Nickel Bolster G10 S30V number two. Why would you have two? Because I live in a world of spares, folks. It's an obsession. It's an addiction. When I find something that I absolutely love, I'm getting two of them. So, two for the price of one. No, not really. But what we're going to do now is we're going to put this name brand, name brand, quick thumb stud. Open your favorite folding knife with one hand, made in the USA. 416 stainless steel. All right, so we're going to put this one on. I can't say that about this one over here. I can't say that because it was a no-name brand, like I said, out of South Florida. So I can't say what this is. I don't really know. And I wanted to see the size comparisons. So let's open this baby up. Pull out the little card. 
Where does these come from? Midwest Knife Maker Supply. Well, it doesn't say where they're from. Nope, it doesn't say. So, they don't have a website. They don't have diddly on here. Sorry for the shaky camera, folks. I keep bumping into it. All right, so we'll put that right there. And let's take a gander. I'll tell you, it's more of a quality bag. Let's take a gander at this one. I just went and got a silver one this time. Let's see if we can kind of see the difference here. Let me get some serious, serious light. All right, well, this one, the name brand, if you want to call it that, the quick thumb stud. Certainly looks the same, but the diameter, look, yeah, it's bigger. That's what I thought it was going to be. It's bigger than this no-name brand one. All right, so we can see where we put it on here. It's right above this mark right there. So... That seems to be working. So they give you the little tool. I think this was like, I don't know, what was it? Nine dollars on on uh, Amazon, I think. All right. So now this actually, oh, you know, little bits and pieces here. Try to pick it up. I was about to say, this one actually fits on there a little better. So I'm going to move this to the side because it seems to be sitting on there. And I got me some blue Permatex medium strength thread locker. Loctite. And we're going to put a little Loctite on here too. Just because that's what you do. Alright, so I'm going to put this on there with on my righty. So I'm going to put it just like the other one. Right at the mark. There looks like it's the spot. I'm going to take a tad Loctite and I'm going to put it on the threads of this. See the Loctite? I'm going to screw her in. It's that simple. It's just that simple. All right, she'd be on there. Let me get a little Q-tip clean up here. And let's see. Well, I love how stiff these are when they're brand new. All right. There you go. Two. Brand new buck. Nickel polished bolsters. S30V. G10. Clip point. Leather pouch. Hmm. Which one do I carry? Well, this is going to be my spare. So, she's going to she's gonna go on in the sheath. I wanted to tell you about something else that I just watched, and I'm going to put the link in the video description. All right? I was blown. Let's see. 
don't know which way this is actually going to fit in here now. Alright. Okay, I'm going to put the link in the video description. Since I'm doing this talky-talky hands thing. Um, I was just blown away by what I would ref would, ref would re refer to as a real knife video. And I hope you check it out. I just watched a guy take an original buck and, you know, in my last video I said that on an old buck look-alike I engraved my name like right here with a little engraving machine and that thing was a monster sort of I remember practicing to put my name right there on that part right there sitting there well I just watched a video about engraving and the guy did a buck, a buck knife, buck 110, uh, kind of a cl real classic. I think he said it was ebony wood, bronze bolsters, and this guy did this by hand. By hand. With tools. And I was blown away. Because here I'm sitting there watching this video. And I'm thinking, okay, he's going to put it in some kind of machine and it's going to laser etch it. I want to hire this man. I mean, he really was very impressive. He went in and showed all the steps to putting a pattern here and here and then mimicking that pattern here and here. And then going in and putting a shield, like right in the center right here. And making the shield, then carving out the wood. I mean, we're talking, you don't see craftsmen like this anymore, folks. So please take a look down in the video description of this video of this guy, Homestead something it was. You'll see my comment in the comments somewhere. I went, wow, wow, you are a craftsman. I would almost, I don't know what it would cost, but I would almost have him, you know, do a, <laughs> it would be great if you could do like a, a trout here and a redfish here or something. I don't need a shield or anything, but wow did this guy do an awesome job so i just want to pass that along that if you are interested in how you engrave by hand and you may know i had no clue i thought he was going to put it in a machine and he was going to sit behind a computer and he was going to go burp, 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 and uh, he was going to come out and go because that's, I'm sure, even how the Buck Factory does it. You know, all the factory done stuff. This man is a craftsman like I haven't seen before. So check it out. It'll be in the video description. And this has just been one of the 250 videos on YouTube about putting a thumb stud on a Buck 110. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.